sound test. Um, I'm thinking about changing the saddle. Uh, it doesn't really fit. There's a little bit of a gap on the side, so I bought a Graph Tech Tusk blank. So I'll be sending it down. It's kind of a pain, but I'm just, I'm learning how to <laughs> find that tone. So um, something what it sounds like today. So uh, there's <laughs> there's problem with, with intonation. Uh, this gets sharper and sharper. So I think I need to bring the bridge closer. Is it? And the action is really comfortable, but there's a lot actually a lot of buzz right now. Uh, it's, I think it's because I changed strings to eleven and a half gauge. But but it's so much easier to just project the sound. And since I'm always the kind of playing late at night, and it's, it's, it's great to get that sound out without even without trying too hard. Uh, yeah, these st steel strings, uh, not phosphor bronze, but they're a little bit bright. heavy strumming guitar but for what I like I guess it's pretty nice it's 
This sounds kind of thin, though, up here. I think it, what, the strings that I first got on these were he medium heavy, 13 gauge. And they sounded nice, fat, jazzy kind of tone. But I think it was too much strain on this body. And the bridge actually started lifting, so. We glue the bridge. New saddle. So I think I'm considering getting a a bigger jumbo body acoustic for heavier strumming and fatter tones. So just imagining that Gibson J200 with I found these 14 gauge strings which are super fat. I can imagine that really thick, heavy, creamy tone. Yeah, so time to bust a new saddle. I'm gonna get this done sometime this week hopefully and I'll put it up so maybe we can hear the difference but it's the same material but just that little bit of gap kind of bothers me I feel like they're buzzing or doesn't really capture the full tone because of it all right see ya